How you doing everybody? Eric Whittington here. And today I want to talk to you guys about ugliness of pride. The ugliness of pride. Now if you Google search the word pride, it's going to read something like this. The quality of having an excessive high opinion of oneself or one's importance. That's what it's going to read on Google. Now in the Word of God, the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, 23, uh, a man's pride brings him low. But a man of lowly spirit gains honor. And also in Proverbs 16, 18, it reads, Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Now the opposite of pride is humility. God opposes pride and gives grace to the humble. And that's found in 1 Peter chapter 5. Now throughout the Bible, you're going to find scriptures like this. I mean, a whole lot of scriptures on pride. I mean, it's the ugliest sin ever. As a matter of fact, it's the first sin. All right? Now, um, in heaven, Lucifer, which we choose to call Satan or the devil right now, all right, Lucifer was the highest of all angels. He really was. I mean, he was the number one worship leader in heaven. And he was so good, he got a third of the angels to follow him. I mean, he thought he was so good, he could overthrow God. He thought he could just take God's throne and just have God follow him, and he was just going to be the man up there. But you know what? God wasn't having that. God wasn't having that, and he threw him out, along with the third of his angels. Now they're called demons and devils, and they're right here amongst us right now, wreaking havoc on the earth. Satan is never allowed back in heaven, ever, because he done messed that up, and he's been wreaking havoc ever since. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's a, there's a good kind of pride but just don't overstep your bounds with it, all right? Now, when I, when I say there's a good kind of pride, I mean being proud of your favorite sports team, for instance. If your favorite team won the Super Bowl, yeah, I mean, you can jump up and you can cheer and you can shout, you know, and be like, I'm so proud of you guys. You guys rock, man. You guys rock. Now, my favorite team is the Giants. I like the Giants. When they won the Super Bowl that year, man, I was dancing a jig. You know, I was so proud of them because they hit it. They rocked it, you know? And also, there's a good kind of pride is where you can uh, be proud of your children. You know, if they're doing good in their academics, they're doing good in school, and they're always getting good work cards, that's something to be proud of. Oh, that's my baby. Oh, come here, give me a kiss. I'm so proud of you. Hey, that's a good kind of pride right there. And it's also you also can be proud of living in the United States of America, land of the brave, home of the free. You know, that's a good pride right there. But there's a lot of people out there, and I'm guilty of it myself, is we overstep our bounds as far as pride goes. You know, <clears throat> there's some people out there, if you're hungry, you won't even ask for a scrap of bread. That's how proud you are. You'll be sitting in a food court somewhere, your belly button touching your backbone, <coughs> you know, and you can even hear your stomach growling. And you're sitting there licking your chops like a hungry dog. Mm -hmm. God, I wish I had some of that. <laughs> you know, if somebody offers you some food, somebody offers to buy you some food, you'd be like, ah, that's all right, I'm good, I'm good, go ahead, enjoy your meal, I'm, I'm good, for real, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. And you walk away. How stupid is that? I'm going to tell you something. If I'm hungry and I see you there, I'm not going to have a problem walking up to you, asking you for a little money so I can buy me something to eat. I don't care. I'll do it. I'll do it in a heartbeat. And there's some people out there, they complain to their co-workers at work because they broke. They ain't got no more money. They got more month than the, the, the end of the money. And they can't get to work the rest of the week. They can't put gas in the car or nothing like that. And they're steady complaining about it. Somebody, finally somebody gets sick of hearing it and they offer you a few dollars for gas and you, go, and you got nerve to refuse it. No, oh, that's all right. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, that's all right. Well, then you know what? Walk your ass to work. The rest of the week. If you're too proud to take a few dollars to put in your car, then walk to work. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And, and another form of pride is this. If, if, if there's no jobs out there and you know you need a job and the only place that's hiring is McDonald's, you're going to say to yourself, oh, hell no. I ain't working in no fast food restaurant. I ain't cleaning toilets. They don't pay nothing. You know, I wouldn't be caught dead working at McDonald's. You know, I deserve to be working Wall Street somewhere. I need to be a stockbroker making the big bucks. Meanwhile, you sitting on unemployment, sitting at home crying how broke you are. And McDonald's is hiring and you can get a job at any time there. You know what, stupid? It pays the bills. 
It pays the bills. You know? It's better than just sitting home doing nothing. So you better swallow that pride and go get that McDonald's job. Scrub them toilets, flip them burgers, and you better be happy you got something. That's what I'm saying. Another thing that gets me about pride is um, you could be in an argue with some, mark, argument with somebody, and you know you're wrong. You know you're wrong. But you ain't going to be man enough to apologize. You're not going to admit your mistakes. you just going to, you got to have the last word. You know, it's all about you. You know, you got to have the final say. All the time. You just you, you just got so much pride, you just can't admit it. You just can't admit it at all. And it, and it really is a shame. And what's going to end up happening to you is you're going to end up lonely, broke, pitiful, angry, and bitter. And nobody's going to want nothing to do with you. I mean, they'll put up with you for a while. But then eventually it's going to get to the point where you ain't got nobody in your circle of friends. Nobody. <coughs> And the thing that really gets me is people that brag about themselves. I mean, if somebody gives you a compliment about something, and if somebody's giving you, uh, you know, some constructive criticism, you know, and I don't, I don't mind getting uh, constructive criticism. Like say, uh, like say you're a blogger, and somebody uh, gives you advice on how to write better blogs. You know, you're going to get offended by that. You're going to be like, oh, you know, um, I, I, I don't mean no harm, but uh, I think I'm doing okay. I really don't need your help. I appreciate it. But look, you do your thing and I'll do my thing. So if you excuse me, I got some blogging to do. That's stupid. If somebody that's been blogging a lot longer than you and knows how to make money through blogging and they're trying to give you advice on how to improve your skills and you don't take it, you're an idiot. You're a freaking idiot. And now let me tell you something. If somebody gives me some constructive criticism and tells me that I should do something better, you know, I, I, could do, I could do better if I, if I did this or if I did that. Trust me. I'm going to take that advice. I'm going to be humble. I'm going to take that advice and I'm going to use it. If it's going to make me a better marketer, I am going to do it. No doubts, no questions I asked about it. None. And, uh, <coughs> it, I mean, you just, it's, it's just ridiculous how people act with this pride thing. You know? Um, if you have, um, uh, if you have a home business, all right, if you, if you have a, a, a successful home business, you know, and, you've, uh, and, you, and you took some time to build your team, you know, and you have a pretty good team behind you, you know, don't, you know, help your team out. If they have questions about something and you know you have the answer to it, don't tell them that Google search the answer. Don't tell them that you ain't got no time to help them, you know? Don't tell them that you need an appointment to talk to me. Because I just don't have time. I got so much going on, you know. You you ought to be happy that you're even on my team. I made you. I'm the one that's going to make you rich. So you got to have an appointment to even have a little bit of my time. Don't act like that towards your team. If it wasn't for them, you wouldn't have no team. You know? Because you sure didn't build it the right way. You sold to these people, and just because you got a smooth tongue, they got in. You know, because you promised them this and you promised them that. Now that they're in, you don't want to help them. And I tell you what's going to happen, Mr. Marketer, that don't know what you're doing. You're going to end up losing your team. They all going to quit on you, and you're going to be a ground zero again. You'll be ground one, try, starting all over again because of your stinking attitude. Now, right now, ladies, I want to talk. I want to talk to some of you ladies out there. All right, it's not just us men out there that's got pride. It's you ladies too. You know, I'm not talking about all of you. I'm talking about you know one or two or three of you or whatever. You know, got that pride? It's just it's just ridiculous how you act. Always looking in the mirror. Oh, I look good. Mm mm mm. Don't want to leave the house because your hair is out of place. Don't want to leave the house because your nails don't look right. Always got to have the latest fashions on. You know? Got to have... Everything's got to be perfect before you can even step out of the house. And when you step out of the house, you want everybody pointing to you and saying, Oh, oh, she's so beautiful. And they're singing the song. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? If you don't hear them singing that and singing praises to you, 
You bitter and you mad all day. You know? If you see somebody, if you see one of your girlfriends got more than what you got, they driving around a nice car, got a nice mink coat, got a nice diamond ring on, and you got and you and you got uh you know something nice. I mean you got a fur coat, but it's not a mink, and you got a nice looking ring on, but it's not a diamond ring. It may be a diamond ring, but it's not 18 carats or 14 carats like your friend. You know, maybe it's like one or two carats. You know, and, and you got a good man at home too. You got a good man at home taking care of you, doing what he's got to do to provide for you and make you happy. But yet, you want to nag and trip out about the things that your girlfriend's got and you ain't got. So you're always on the man's case. He come home from work, you're always in his face. Well, you know what? My girlfriend's got a mink. My girlfriend's got this and my girlfriend's got that. How come you don't get me this? How come you don't get me this? How come you don't buy me this and buy me that? You know, there's no affection at all. You don't give the man a kiss when he comes home. You don't have dinner ready for him. You know, there's, there's no affection whatsoever. You know? I mean, the highlight of the man's day is getting up to go to work. I mean, when it's time to punch out for the day, he don't even want to come home to you because he don't want to listen to your stupid mouth. He don't want to listen to it. He, he'd rather just check in a hotel somewhere so he can get a good night's rest. I mean, it's really bad when you got to go to sleep stressed out because you in his ear all day. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. You know, be happy with what you have. Because I'm, I'm, I'm talking to some of you ladies out there. If you continue tripping and acting the way you act, you know, and treating a man like, like, like whatever, you know, like he ain't nothing, like he's beneath you, you know, he's going to end up with somebody else. That's just the hard truth. That's the reality of it. You know, there's, there's plenty of women out there that are looking for a good man. And believe me, when he leaves your ass, he's going to get with somebody that appreciates him. And you're going to be broke, lonely, bitter, angry, and just pitiful. Just straight up pitiful. And you're going, to be, you're going to be crying that you lost a good thing. So just keep it up if you want to. Keep it up. You need to appreciate your man. And guys, you need to appreciate your women. I mean, if they're treating you like gold, don't be acting like, because the same thing goes for you guys too. You know, give me this, give me that. Uh, you know, I, I work hard and you should give me this and give me all. You know what? Forget all that. Be happy with one another. You know, show affection to one another. You know, get all that pride out of your house. You know, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous to be acting like that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I, um, when I get compliments on uh, my art or my DJ, uh, DJing and all that stuff, I'm very humble. I'm very humble. I don't be like, I, I know. I know you. Hey, tell me something I don't know. I, I'm not like that. I'm not like that at all. You know, and you should not be like that either. Because uh, there's no benefits and there's no reward to pride. None. It's an ugly, ugly spirit that we need to get rid of. Get rid and, you know, out of our lives. You know, because if you, like I said, if you have a, a successful home business and you're treating everybody like crap, you know, and you think that uh, you're the best marketer in the world and, and can't nobody touch your skills and all of this, you getting ready to fall, baby. You getting ready to fall down because people can't stand that and they ain't going to want to be around you. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm, what I'm saying this is the last word on this. Be humble and you will stay blessed. Get that spirit of pride out of you and treat people like you would want to be treated. All right. That's all I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, if you got some value out of this video, please connect with me on Facebook. And uh, I will be glad to uh, talk with you. And another thing, if you guys are looking for a, uh, to have a successful home business and you want somebody to actually help you so you can make it, hey, get with me. I can help you do that. And I'm not going to be standing out there being like, ah, oh, you need an appointment to see me, you know? I mean, I'm just, I just got, I ain't got time for you. I ain't going to act like that. I'm going to help you if you need the help. And I'm going to help you make as much money as you want to make and help you get to the top. And pride ain't got nothing to do with it. And I suggest that when you, be, when, you're, when you're successful in your business, I want you to have humility and help your team get there as well. I mean, teamwork makes the dream work. That's all I gotta say. Teamwork makes the dream work and pride ain't got nothing to do with it. So if you got pride, get out of it. If you're jealous of somebody because they got more than you, get over it. Because you eventually will get what you want. 
because you're humble. Because pride doesn't get nobody nowhere but alone, broke, and ugh. I, 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 I hate even talking about this because it's just, it's just ugly. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I love you. Thank you for watching and connect with me on Facebook. Take care. Bye-bye.